Masturbation is a, an act of sexually stimulating oneself through use of uh, uh, hands, fingers, or other objects such as sex toys. Uh, and also it is common and natural activity that may, people engage in and can provide physical and emotional benefits. Masturbation can be a healthy way, be a healthy way to explore one's own body and sexuality and it can help individuals learn uh, about their own sexual desires and preferences. It can also provide physical benefits such as uh, stress relief, improved mood and better uh, sleep. But it, these uh, especially these uh, uh, acts has been really been demonized. But I want to tell you what they don't tell you about masturbation. So while masturbation can be a common and natural activity, there are some things that are not often discussed or maybe misunderstood about it. Here are a few things that are important to know. So these are important things you should know about uh, masturbation, as I've mentioned. So number one is about the normal and also health and healthy. That's one thing which uh, you need to understand. So masturbation is common and natural activity that many people engage in. And it can be a healthy way to explore your body and sexuality, especially for adolescents and uh, young adults. And it can uh, provide physical and uh, emotional benefits. So number two, it, uh, it won't cause physical harm. Uh, very important, masturbation is generally safe and don't cause any physical harm. However, excessive or compulsive uh, masturbation can sometimes uh, uh, cause temporal soreness and also chaffing or the irritation. It won't, uh, and another thing, there's a common belief about uh, making one blind. It won't make you go blind and grow hair on your palms. There's, a, uh, there's that theory and also belief that it will make you grow hair on, the, on your palms and also uh, uh, cause uh, uh, one to go blind. That is not true. Number four, it won't make you, it won't affect your fertility. Masturbation will not affect your ability to have children or, or harm your reproductive system in any way. It, uh, and number, number five, it, it is not a replacement of sex. While masturbation can be a health and enjoyable activity, it is important to remember that it is not a replacement of intimacy or sex with a partner. So with masturbation, it doesn't replace the part of uh, it doesn't replace the part of your partner or the sexual activity. So that's very important to know when you are, you are doing it. Also very important to know it is private. Masturbation is a private activity that is not appropriate to discuss or engage in publicly when it becomes now public now it becomes another disorder sexual disorder which we will discuss at a later date over the same so it is important to respect other people's boundaries and privacy when it comes to their sexual activities so overall masturbation is a natural and healthy activity that can provide physical activity and emotional benefits so it is important to practice it safely uh, respectively and to seek help if it becomes excessive or when now it comes to uh, the where now it interferes with uh, with your daily activities. So what can cause masturbation? So there are many, many factors that contribute to a person's uh, decision to masturbate. So most of the time we are ready to to judge why this why this person is doing this, why this is happening to this kind of a person. But there are various reasons why people or what can cause uh, this uh, masturbation thing. So sexual curiosity is one of the cause. Uh, masturbation can be a natural part of exploring one's own sexuality and may be motivated for by curiosity about one's body and also sexual responses, especially for, like I said, for the young adults and also for the adolescents. Another cause can be hormonal changes. Adolescents may experience hormonal changes that lead to increased sexual desire and experimentation, including that includes also that uh, area of masturbation. Another, another uh, cause of this uh, uh, masturbation is about stress relief. 
Masturbation can be a healthy way to relieve stress, tension, and also anxiety. So there are people find it, uh, that it is say it is uh, stress relieving for tension and also for anxiety. Also for sexual release, masturbation can provide a, a physical release of sexual tension and are also particular for those who are not currently in a sexual uh, kind of a relationship. Also on health benefits, masturbation can provide physical benefits such as improved mood, better sleep and reduced risk for also for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer in men. Also for religious or cultural beliefs, some people may choose to masturbate as a way of explore their own sexuality while they are adhering to religion and also cultural beliefs which discourage sexual activity uh, uh, outside marriage. So it can be replacement of infidelity or going against uh, the uh, cultural norms or the religious norms. So people choose it to uh, to do it as a way of not debating to outside marriage and also of keeping to the religious uh, commands. Also for mental health, is for some individuals, it can be a symptom of a deep underlying mental health. Uh, masturbation can be a symptom of deep underlying mental health, so such as uh, depression, anxiety, and also uh, sexual addiction. So uh, there are people with mental health problems who, who divert to masturbation also. So it can also be a, a sign of uh, mental health issues. So it is important to know that masturbation is a normal and also a health activity that may many people engage in. So however, if it becomes excessive, it interferes with the daily life. It may be a sign of deep underlying issue and seeking help from healthcare provider or therapist may be beneficial. So how can one be treated with the, the problem of uh, masturbation? Uh, while masturbation itself is not usually considered a problem, uh, excessive or compulsive masturbation can be a problem like I've mentioned. So in such cases, the treatment can be very vital for that particular patient or for that particular individual. So number one, uh, when it is a compulsive masturbation, number one therapy is seeing a therapist or a counselor which can help individual address underlying psychological issues uh, that may contribute to excessive or compulsive masturbation. Therapy can also help individual develop health coping mechanisms and improve their overall mental health. Number two uh, is about medication. In some cases, medication can be used to treat underlying mental issues such as depression or anxiety, which can contribute to excessive or compulsive kind of masturbation. So behavioral therapy also is important, where now CBT, like I mentioned from our previous video, cognitive uh, behavioral therapy. We also got that it, it, it treats the anxiety disorder in our video. So CBT can also be used to help the individual identify negative thoughts patterns, which can help individuals identify their Thought, thought process and also develop a new healthier ways of coping with stress and also the anxiety. Support groups uh, also can be a way of managing uh, uh, managing this uh, problem of masturbation if it becomes a problem. So joining a support group of individuals with sexual addiction or compulsive behavior can provide a sense of community and help individuals connect with others who are struggling with similar issues. So it is important to remember that seeking treatment for excessive compulsive uh, masturbation now which is a very serious condition, is a personal choice and there is no shame in seeking help. With the right treatment and support, uh, there is no, the individual can learn to manage compulsive behaviors and also improve the overall uh, well-being of that individual. So with the, as much as uh, masturbation can be very normal, we have side effects of it and uh, um, some masturbation is generally considered a safe and health uh, activity for most people and does not typically cause any significant effects. However, excessive or compulsive masturbation can have negative consequences and here are some potential side effects of excessive masturbation. Number one is about physical irritation. Overstimulation of genitals may lead to temporary soreness, chaffing and also irritation. Number two of the one of the side effects is about fatigue. So because excessive masturbation can lead to feelings of physical and mental fatigue 
uh, particularly it interferes with sleep or the daily activities of that uh, individual. So another one, it can cause what you call erectile dysfunction. Kindly, we have not watched uh, something on erectile dysfunction. Watch my previous video on erectile dysfunction where I shared it. In rare cases, excessive masturbation can lead to temporary or permanent erectile di uh, di dysfunction, particularly if it leads to physical uh, damage to the penis. So if there is damage to the, especially the penis or the genital, uh, we have what you call now erectile dis dysfunction, which is well explained in my previous video. So it can also cause relationship problems. If excessive masturbation interferes with the intimacy or sexual relationships, because we say it, masturbation do not, should not replace the partner kind of relation, sexual relationships. So this can cause, uh, uh, can cause if it's excessive and if it is compulsive, can cause tension, conflict, and even relationship problems. Also, last but not least, it can cause guilt or shame. Some individuals may experience feelings of guilt or shame related to their masturbation habits, particularly if they come from cultures or regions where uh, backgrounds where the, the stigmatization is there on sexual activity outside of, uh, of marriage. So one is likely to feel guilt and also uh, uh, have some shame uh, because of the kind of background where one comes from, especially from the culture and the region uh, background. So it is important that to know, to know that, that most people, masturbation is a health and normal activity, but excessive of it can also cause uh, problems. So how one, can one prevent uh, oneself from excessive masturbation? Because excessive is the one which now is a big problem. And when it becomes excessive compulsive masturbation, now we get into a very big problem. So prevention of excessive masturbation involves developing health habits and finding healthy outlets of sexual expression and uh, I have some strategies here which can prevent, uh, help one prevent excess masturbation. Number one, engage in, uh, in physical activity like regular exercise can help reduce stress, anxiety and also sexual tension and provide a health uh, outlet for uh, sexual energy. And also find a health way to manage stress, like uh, stress can be a major contributor to excessive masturbation. So finding a health way to manage, to manage stress, such as meditation, yoga, and deep uh, breathing exercises can help reduce ex the urge to masturbate uh, excessively. And also another way of preventing is maintaining health, uh, social lifestyle. Socializing uh, with friends, family, and other loved ones can provide a sense of connection and support and it can help reduce the, uh, reduce the urge for masturbation as a way of coming, coping for loneliness and also boredom. And also being with other people can also, and no, no, one not hiding from the others, also exposes one to other people so that uh, that kind of social interactions can maintain uh, a good, uh, by maintaining that good social life, now you get to, to get balance from this compulsive disorder of the masturbation. Also, a way of prevent, as a way of prevention, seeking uh, professional help if you believe uh, you are in excessive masturbation and it is interfering with uh, your daily life, seek help from a healthcare provider or therapists, uh, which can be beneficial. They can help identify any underlying psychological or emotional uh, issues that may be contributing to the behavior and also can provide support and guidance for developing uh, kind of health uh, habits. So guys, if you are watching these videos and the, and the video and you need help, I have a way of connecting you to get that healthcare provider help so that you get uh, to balance your life and also uh, get a professional way of getting out of that compulsive disorder. Also practice self-care, taking care of oneself through healthy eating, getting enough sleep and engaging in other health habits can reduce stress and anxiety and can provide a healthy outlet for sex, sexual energy. So uh, it's important that uh, now when uh, you, you, as a way of prevention through a professional, professional, uh, professional uh, help, through practice of self-care, through maintaining healthy social life, finding healthy ways to manage stress and engaging in uh, physical activity, you get to manage it at that level. But now it, when it goes beyond prevention and it goes to another level, we have now the complications of uh, masturbation. 
So excessive or compulsive masturbation can lead to several complications, particularly it becomes, uh, when it becomes a regular habit. Here are some potential complications of excessive uh, masturbation. Number one is physical injury as a complication. It's because of overstimulation of the genitals can cause physical injury to the penis, testicles or clitoris. And this can result in pain, swelling and also even long-term uh, damage. Uh, number two of the complication is about the sexual dysfunction. Excessive masturbation can cause temporary or even permanent sexual dysfunction, particularly if it leads to physical damage to the genitals uh, or psychological issues such as anxiety, anxiety or depression. Number three is about relationship problems. If excessive masturbation interferes with the intimacy or sexual relationship with a partner, it can lead to tension, conflict, and even relationship problems. Number four is about emotional and mental health issues. Excessive masturbation can sometimes be a symptom of an underlying mental health issue such as anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and over time excessive masturbation can also lead to feelings of guilt, shame, and also low self-esteem. And also last but not least, negative impact on daily life as a complication. Excessive masturbation can interfere with daily life, particularly if it becomes a compulsive habit that, uh, 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 that takes up significant uh, time and energy. So it can have also a, a very bad impact on, uh, on, uh, on one's life. So guys, masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that is enjoyed by many people. It can provide a safe uh, and a pleasurable way to explore one's sexuality relieve stress and tension and even improve overall uh, sexual function. However, excessive or compulsive masturbation can lead to physical injury, sexual dysfunction, relationship problems and emotional uh, and mental issues. So guys, it is important to find a healthy balance when it comes to masturbation and to seek help from healthcare professionals or therapists. If excessive masturbation is causing distress or interfering with the daily life, Developing health care, health, health habits, finding health outlets for sexual expression, and practicing self care can prevent excess masturbation and promote overall well being. So, guys, hope you got something from the video and you are informed over the over masturbation issue. And when it becomes compulsive and also excessive masturbation, it becomes now a mental issue which now needs help. Guys, if you need help because masturbation is very common, can uh, you can get into my DM and also I get to connect you to appropriate way of helping you. And also kindly for those guys who are watching the video and for those who of us who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel. More good videos are coming, more informative uh, videos are coming. This is where we get to uh, get you uh, in videos where. We discuss complicated matters in a very simple language, which everyone can understand. Guys, welcome to Future Talks. My name is Vincent. Welcome to our next video, guys. Thank you very much and get blessed. Uh, peace.